Um, excuse me. What's going on here? Hello. I'll kill you. How can I help you, gentlemen? Thanks, Gerald. You saved my life. The bastards snuck in here. Somehow they found out I'm after them. Who? What happened? Salamandra. I was a step away from solving the mystery. One small step. Relax, Raymond. You're safe now. Not likely. They're following me day and night. I gotta find a way to lose them. What do we do? I'll set a false trail. You question the new suspects. Who? Here, take these notes. They list all the key leads. What do you intend to do? They're on my heels, so I've got to disappear. I'll draw them away while you pursue the investigation. I'll find you, White Wolf. Uh, hmm. are you sure? Mere deduction. I, um... <sighs> Alright. Okay, list of suspects. Vivaldi, Louvarden... Vincent Taller Ramsmeet Coxstein. But I've already talked to all of them, didn't I? Welcome, you won't believe what happened. Tell me. What happened? Not so fast. Remember, I have expenses. How much do I owe you? Two hundred arons. This investigation is getting expensive. I'm not the Prophet Labiota. I can't live on roots and berries. Neither can my informers. I guarantee you these are the bare necessities. For 200 orans I could get. The costs are what they are. Take it or leave it. Really? Yes? See you later. I'll see you later, I guess. Yes? I've nearly completed my investigation. All right, speak. If you don't work with Salamandra, who are you? A modest merchant. Allow me to show gratitude with a gift. Quit bluffing, Declan. This symbol signifies my secret society. We seek to destroy Salamandra. Learn anything useful? The Salamanders have risked much. This is a political matter, let me tell you. Some larger schemes at play in Redania. Few people know this secret. King Faltest, the Lodge of Sorceresses, and I watch the northern border. How does this relate to Salamandra? Azar Javed has sent a special force north. My men saw them. He too knows something's brewing and is making preparations. I see. I see. <clears throat> That's interesting. Yes? This investigation is getting expensive. I'm not the Prophet Labiota. All right, 200 orans. Down to business. They transferred the prisoner after the attack. Not good. Especially since we won't get anything else out of him. He died last night. How did that happen? Hmm. Well, he wasn't in great shape, so I guess it's no surprise. But I have a feeling. Someone helped him along? Exactly. Shani is a good friend of yours, right? Ask her to do an autopsy. Once we know the cause of death... Wait a minute. Are you spying on me? That's my job. See you later. Sure. Hmm, mere deduction. We'll be back after we do an autopsy on a corpse. Why not? Hey, is that Fistek? Hmm, it must be evidence. I never suspect Raymond of being a user. Geralt, we need to talk. What is it? What's going on? Some people died at the hospital. Were you involved? Maybe. Explain yourself. I wanted to question a prisoner, one of your patients, but thugs interrupted us. It was their bodies the guard discovered later. Hmm. I'll tell you what I overheard. The prisoner will be transported to a safe location. Thanks, Shani, for understanding. Just watching out for you. Yeah. So. I need you to help me with an autopsy. What? That's illegal. It's necessary. Visit me at night. We'll talk. 
All right. See ya. See you at night. What she want? Say something. Hello. I'm here to see Shani. She's busy cleaning and doesn't have time for vagabonds. I have an appointment. Didn't your mother teach you better manners? She'd not forgive herself for raising such a monster. But, but, now, now hold on a minute, Grandma. Uh. What's she want? Say something. Hello. I'm here to see Shani. They send you from the hospital? You certainly look ill. Gods are punishing you. Yes. Yes, I'm from the hospital. You can go upstairs. Just don't force yourself on the girl. All right, Grandma. Thank you. Yes. Hello again. Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm hmm. I need your help with an autopsy. An autopsy? Since when do you deal with stuff like that? Since I started investigating Salamandra. Okay, though, I'm no coroner. You'll have to interpret our findings. We'll meet in the evening. Until then, gather as many clues as possible. I'll sniff around. Get the body from the grave digger. We'll meet at the hospital in the evening. How do I find information to help the autopsy? Ask Vincent Mice, but also look for books on anatomy and pathology. Farewell. Alright. I'll see what I can do. Your reputation precedes you. I heard you killed three monsters and brought in proof. True. Yep. A special reward. This runic stone. Use it well. The city should offer more rewards soon. Alright. Thanks. So, um... You ever do autopsies? What for? Punctured stomachs mean gang warfare. Torn off heads mean beasts. And black tongues mean poison. The first case, we pressure ram's meat. The second, we pass on to the order or a witcher. The third, we go to the victim's wife. The culprit 90% of the time. Autopsies are a waste of time. I see. What do you need? Hey there. Um... A prisoner died recently. Is he in the cemetery already? Don't know. You can have another body. They all reek the same. I'm after a specific corpse. Particular. Come back when you know what you want. Examining remains is an art. Always worthwhile to look deeper. But who does that concern? Uh, well... Could you hand over the prisoner's body for an autopsy? For a bottle of dwarven liquor. Dwarven liquor, huh? Um, where is it? Nothing like a good drink. That's it, buddy. So, about the prisoner. Where you want the body dumped? At the hospital. It'll be there by evening. Farewell. All right. Come here. Hey, get back here. Nothing like a good drink. Right. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. You're not likely to tell me anything interesting. What do you need? So, you seem to know a lot about the deaths in the city. Ever help with investigations? Sometimes I inform Raymond about the more interesting dead men. Mm, well, I don't trust Raymond. He's hiding something. Raymond? You wouldn't find a more loyal man. He seems to be struggling with this case. I should help. Will you let me inside the cemetery? City authorities prohibited it. How can I change your mind? I'd need Captain Mice's permission. No other way to sway you? Actually, I have a terrible debt with Taller. Clear those debts, the cemetery key's yours. All right. Farewell. I'll be right back. Don't move, all right? It's not gonna take him. It's not gonna take too long. What is it, Witcher? Hello, Vince. Can you get me a pass into the cemetery? No trouble. Maybe you can clean it up while you're there. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Nothing like a good drink. Right. 
Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. You're not likely to tell me anything interesting. What do you need? Hello again. I want to get inside the cemetery. City authorities prohibited it. I have a pass from Captain Mice. Here are the keys. Go inside where we lay the fresh ones. But if they kill you, don't return to haunt me. No promises. Farewell. See you around, pal. Whoa. You're a big one, aren't you? Alright, anyone else? Didn't think so. I, I... Um... Hmm... I see... It seems that we have an imposter among us. What do you need? Uh... Here's your key. Learn anything? I found Raymond's body in the crypt. How? Oh, I spoke to him recently. Now I'm sure. The leader of Salamandra, a mage capable of spinning illusions, is masquerading as Raymond. Yeah. It's a good thing I went in there and investigated. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Hello, Coxteen. I know Raymond is the Salamandra leader. Are you sure? Yes, I have irrefutable evidence. Azar killed Raymond and assumed his identity using an illusion. The rogue! What do you intend to do about it? You're better off not knowing. Be careful. He has great power. You must separate him from its source, the element of fire. Lure him to a place where the magical aura is unstable. It would be best if this place were surrounded by the opposing element water. The tower in the swamp. Ideal. You'd stand a chance there. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. Thanks, Cogstein. See you. See you around. Ready for the autopsy? Let's get started. Let's do it. Race, human. Gender, male. Wounds, extensive. Shani, this isn't a lecture hall. Whatever you say. He died yesterday, torn to pieces. Mm. The bone marrow has been sucked out. Must be scavengers. Very likely. Plenty around the cemetery. So, he was torn to pieces after he died. I'm interested in the cause of death. I also see some stab wounds. A blade... two fingers wide. External signs aren't everything. His neck muscles and palms look tense. How do you know when he died? Normally I base it on muscle stiffness and dehydration, but rigor mortis is persisting for too long. They say successful autopsies are based on curiosity. Should we look? Let's check his internal organs. Sure, why not? The symptoms are peculiar, and the cause of death, too. Those wounds are too obvious. I suspect something more. Poison? If so, a rare sort. Perhaps an alchemist's brew. Kolkstein? Ah! Liver's completely cirrhotic. It was obviously a potent poison. This stinks of alchemy. This is too easy. Life can be simple sometimes. Are you certain poison is the only explanation for the unusual rigor mortis? The most likely cause. I have a sinking feeling there's more to this. We can try the coroner's last resort. Opening the skull. Alright. Opening the skull. Always a pleasure. See that in the brain? Larva of the Zeracanian tsetse fly. But... How did they get in his brain? It's part of their development cycle. If we were in Zeracania, 
I'd say a fly crawled up his nose and laid its eggs. We're in Tamaria. Our climate is too cold and dry for the tsetse fly. Even if someone brought eggs, how would they get up his nose? What do these eggs look like? Tiny, white, like flour. Or Fistek. Geralt, I gave him Fistek before he died. He was suffering terribly, and we had no other anesthetics. I thought it was safe. Where did you get it? From your friend, the detective. He told me it was from special stock. Raymond. Raymond. Then we have a problem. He added eggs to the fist tech, then came here at night to fake the other evidence. That doesn't sound like Raymond at all. My medallion vibrates whenever I see him lately. And Zeracania? That's where Azar Javed is from. The real Raymond may no longer be with us. But I saw him just yesterday. Azar's using an illusion, trying to manipulate me. Thanks, Shani. I couldn't have figured it out without you. What will you do now? I'll talk to Kalkstein first. He should help me prepare. Alright. Well, that was simple enough. Yes? Hello, Detective. I have the autopsy results. And? I couldn't conclude anything. How's that? How do I put this? Hmm. I mistook one vial for another and poured some caustic crap on the corpse. We couldn't draw any conclusions from what remained. None? None at all? Not a one. Come on, Raymond. Everyone makes mistakes. I need to think. Come back later. Alright. That makes no sense. I know, but, you know, it is what it is. Welcome! Make yourself at home! Hello. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Appreciate the hospitality. Yes? You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Alright. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you, what do you want to serve? Cherry vodka for Dandelion. Rosé wine for me. And something for you. Hmm. I'll try. I'll see what I can do. Made up your mind? Yes, um, I would like a one order of rosé, another of um, dog tail, um, some Tamarian rye, and oh, I already have some cherry. I'll I'll buy an extra cherry spirit just in case. <sighs> Thank you. That'll be all. Old gray and still chasing skirts. You should uh, be ashamed. Excuse me. Old gray and a pain in the ass. You should be ashamed. Go. Just don't be surprised if she stabs you. Don't be surprised if I stab you. More like it. Yes. Hi, um I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. See ya. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the order. Uh not now, Siegfried. Listen, Shani is throwing a little party. When? In the evening. Come if you feel like it. I shall certainly attend. Alright, I'll see you there. I can't handle this! My heart! Help! Mm, what now? What do you want? Such debauchery under my roof! She hooks herself a musician or something! It's the famous poet, Dandelion. I know his fame! I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now! Shall I chaperone them? Finally! You're making sense! All right, then. Don't worry, Grandma. Nothing's going to happen while I'm keeping an eye on them. Hello? Hi, Geralt. Dandelion can't wait to see you. Oh, there he is. Geralt? I'll be damned. Hello? For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? 
Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see? What do you mean? Lion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn and Milva, Kahir and Angulem, and Yarpen and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. Uh, look. I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. I guess I don't die so easily. How do I know you're not some magic doppelganger? Some freak? Listen, Dandelion, I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down, have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. Alright then. That's more like it. I need a drink. Uh, where's my... Tamarian... Rye... Where is it? Hello? Shani? You invite anyone? A knight named Siegfried. You'll like him. Hmm. Maybe. Frankly, I don't like those pompous zealots. They're not all like that. Siegfried's different. We'll see. Let's drink to old friendships. Absolutely. Um... There we go. Whoa. I've been thinking and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? Silver sword, potions. What are you driving at? Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Dandelion, believe me, if you could tell a Bruxa to hunt rabbits, for instance, I'd be long unemployed. What about higher vampires? They're rare. I don't know. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a higher vampire. Dandelion. Oh. Cheers. 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 Ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Oh. Good day. Greetings, Siegfried. Hello. My respects. I am Siegfried, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Shani, welcome. Dandelion, known in some circles as a master of melody and verse. Don't just stand there, Siegfried. Wine? Geralt got some alcohol despite the quarantine. As I see it, the quarantine is how Foltest is paying off his war debt to the merchants. Ordinary folks can't pass, only those with connections. The quarantine is necessary to protect humans from the plague. What about non-humans? I don't understand. You don't have to be Dykstra to know how the Order treats non-humans. Order and peace is our ideal. In line with that same ideal, all elves and dwarves are criminals, right? King Foltest, not the Order, rules here. His law must be obeyed. The non-human band terrorizing this area makes a mockery of the king's law. Ha! I don't suppose you'd be so responsive to your king's will if he imposed taxes on you. The order pays the crown its due on time. Geralt, I can't listen to this. Say something. Hmm. I would gladly hear your opinion. What do you want me to say? The order does its duty. Geralt? You support this lousy anti-elven propaganda? The Skoya tell murder innocents. They've abandoned their fight for freedom to fight the human race. I don't believe I'm hearing this. What about dwarves? Zoltan, for instance. An exception that proves the rule. Whoa. 
What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you like Siegfried. He's nice. I'm glad. Uh-huh. Yeah, I bet it's nice. Uh... Oh, yeah, let me drink some of this. Ah, uh, oh, exquisite intoxicant. Thanks. Ah, oh, exquisite intoxicant. So, I was about to enlighten you. The superstitions concerning higher vampires. Enlighten Go on. Please. This is serious, Geralt. Unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? I've never heard such nonsense in my life. Can you explain, Dandelion? I just don't get it. Dandelion, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Did I also have a true friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did, so the joke's on you. What? In any case, it's true. We traveled a long way for many months with a higher vampire as our companion. Do you remember Regis? Uh... Master Dandelion, I'm seriously concerned about your mental health. Um... Can you give me a last name, Dandelion? Emil Regis Rohalak Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. If, if you say so. To Rusty. Yeah. Witcher? Yeah? I have a favor to ask. Ask away. If you're my friend, you'll not turn me down. We'll see. Go on. I wanted to thank you for your invitation and to ask you, as my friend, to do me one more favor. Why do I think I'm not going to like this? Fetch me a bottle of liquor from downstairs. You want me to steal the old lady's wine? Absolutely not. On my way out, I leave a coin pouch worth five bottles. Why don't you go yourself, Siegfried? My armor is quite noisy, and it's very difficult to get out of. Mm. I see. Fair enough. I'll be right back. You make a good point, Siegfried. Oh. Uh. Hey. Geralt? Here's the liquor. I am indebted to you. Another round? I think I know the perfect song for this occasion. We'd love to hear sure. it. Sure. Let's have it. Autumn scents have pervaded the air. The wind stole the words from our lips. That's the way it must be. Please don't shed those diamonds that run down your cheeks. Your home all surrounded by snow Glassy frost covers rivers and lakes That's the way it must be, please don't show This yearning and grief on your face When the spring comes along with the rain The sun will warm up us both that's the way it must be, for we burn With fire eternal like hope You have a beautiful voice, Siegfried. I didn't know you could sing. Where did you learn? In the choir at the Order. Won't you stay longer, Siegfried? Sing me some monastic songs? Dandelion, don't we need to be somewhere? I suppose. I too should take my leave, but could we meet again, my lady? Oh, yes. <clears throat> All right. Hey, 
Hold on a second. Ooh. That's better. Yes. There you go, Shawnee. As a thank you. <clears throat> Red roses, Geralt. So you... Yeah, all right, Shani, you... You're blushing. I get flowers so rarely. A pretty young medic like you can't be lacking admirers. Well, this gloomy fellow scared everyone else away. If you need help... Mm. No, I'm fine. He was mysterious, even charming in a peculiar way. We actually went out a few times, and who knows what might have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. Who do you mean? Taller. I doubt you know him. We were walking along the dike one evening when I realized we were being followed by two men wearing gray coats over special forces armor. The coats were supposed to hide them. They didn't know at university I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Taller told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Taller said to the men, This better be important. One of them answered, But chief, we hid invisible-like. Taller said, Your balls will be invisible-like when I shove them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How'd it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Who were they? Voltes secret police. When we first met in Oxenfurt, I helped you evade Redanian agents. The Temerian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenfurt, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask. It's quite the party. We'll talk later. I'm counting on it. What do you need? Hello? I'm here about the notice. Yes? I have six jugs of dog's lard. I use the lard on the casket. <laughs> Here's your payment. Thanks. Farewell. See ya. Here at last. Mm -hmm. Hello. Listen, I got it all figured out. Calstein and Ramsmeet were associates. I have irrefutable evidence. What do we do with that information? We set a trap, though it might be dangerous. Gather your equipment and come back later. All right. All right. Yes. I wanted to ask you about the commander of the Royal Guards. I saw him in town some time ago, busy bashing perverts. How come? What don't you understand? Everyone knows the Guard Commander hates anyone he can call deviant. Everyone knows, but few care. Yes? I'm ready for Ramsmeet. Good. He leads Salamandra's armed force. You have to kill him. Won't be easy, but I'll try. I'll be back. Whew, all right. Hey, man. Raymond, get up. Hey, hey, get up, man. Yes? It's done. Good news. You'll be happy, Raymond. You killed Ramsmeet? He won't be bothering us anymore. But that's not it. We'll nab Javed soon. I have a plan. Your family will be avenged. So, what's your plan? I wanted to take care of this alone, but if you're willing to help... Of course I am. You're paying me, after all. Besides, we're friends now. Yes. Friends. Right. Now, since we've defanged Javed by getting rid of Ramsmeet, let's plan what he and Kolkstein want so much. And that is? The secrets inside the Swamp Tower. 
I know how to open it, and I'd like you to do something. Of course. What? Come with me to the swamp, and when I open the tower, take the secret books, hide them away from me. We can't let them fall into Javed's hands. Right. When do we go? Now. We need to secure what's hidden in the tower. All the books and scrolls. Bait for our target. Just one thing missing. I have yet to unlock the tower door. That's where I come in. This stone is the key to the tower, or part of the key. You make sure you get Kalkstein interested, like we agreed. Alright. And with this, the tenth stone has been placed. All the Sephirot are set. My medallion's vibrating like mad, so the spell must be working. The tower door should be open. I can't wait to see Kolkstein's reaction. Aren't you eager to learn the truth? I'd rather stay focused. Should I get the book from the tower? Yes, hurry. We can't let Kalkstein get ahead of us. I hope that murderer swallowed the bait. I think I made sure of that. Yeah, I'm sure he did. I wouldn't worry too much about that. I think that much... That much is guaranteed. Oh! Axie. Nice. Alright. Some coins. Dark Tello, a sugar doll, a gold sapphire ring, red meteorite, diamond dust, Stanford dust, orange, white Rafford's decoction, and an ancient magical treatise containing the lost knowledge of Alzor, including information on rituals, enhancing creature growth, and the secret of the thunder and shield spells. That sounds like a, a worthy read, right there. Alright. Well, that's simple enough. Now we just go back outside and, um... You'll soon learn the truth. Excited? More than you think. Just one question. to assume Raymond's identity. Clever. From you, of course. He was getting close and you trusted him. I would have been foolish not to take advantage of the situation. Did you forget it would put you face to face with a Witcher? Well, I'd be foolish not to take advantage of this situation. Enough chatter. Now kindly lead me to where you've hidden the items stolen from Kaer Morin. Oh, what? Oh. Ah. What the hell? Get out of here, little freak. What the hell? Ow! Hey! You're the one supposed to be stunned, not me. Get out of here, man. Oh. I come at your command, Master. I listen and obey as a genie would. Professor, cut the crap and get him. You see, Witcher? Too much water around for Azar to feel comfortable. Fire mages, limited. He needs me to do the wet work. Good. Two worms with one stone. Ow. 
You want a piece of this? Javed? Come and get some. You present no challenge. Yeah. Come and get some. As are you fool. Let the witcher get the better of you. You nearly got me killed. Silence. Back to the base of the trade quarter. Hurry before he recovers. We shall meet again, freak.